Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I don't have any makeup on again, upset my brows of course, but I don't have any other product on my face because today we are going to be doing a first impression and I'm super excited for this first impression. As you guys can see by the look of the title, I will be doing a first impression on all of the new Too Faced Peach, Peaches and Cream collection. I have been dying to try these products out, especially considering that most of the products are meant for oily skin which I am one of those people, I do have combination skin, so I get really oily in my T-zone. So I've been wanting to see how these are gonna perform on the skin and actually last throughout the day, and if I am gonna be oily or not, you know? So at the end of the video, I will be doing an eight hour check-in. So if you guys wanna stay till the end and see how it had lasted. But before we jump into the video, you guys, if you guys are not part of this family, don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys are part of this family and also hit the rainbow notification. That way every time that I upload, YouTube can let you guys know that I have a new video up. <laughs> As always, links to every single product that I will be mentioning and showing you guys in this video will be linked down below along with all of my social media so you guys can go check me out there. Funny thing is that this video is actually because of Twitter because if you guys don't follow me there, once in a while I do Twitter polls because it helps me know what you guys wanna see. So I did a Twitter poll on what first impression you guys wanted me to do and lots of you voted for the Too Faced Peaches and Cream collection. So, yeah. I'm so excited for this video you guys. So with that, let's just go ahead and jump into the video <laughs> Starting out with the first product my loves is a primer. This is the primer It's called the cooling matte skin perfecting primer I have really high hopes for this guy because first of all on their site It says it has 12 hours of shine control and 16 hours of wear. It's oil-free lightweight texture that feels fresh, cool, and comfortable on the skin. It has a soft focus matte finish, and it has a peach tint which brightens the skin, which I'm really excited about that part, and dries to a translucent finish, reduces the shine for a matte finish. Those are the details on this little guy, and pretty much, you guys already know how to use the primers. We're just gonna apply it all over our entire face, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I like the packaging. Um, it reminds me a lot of their Hangover RX primer because I love this packaging. It Anything that has pumps, you guys know, I love everything about that. Oh, I already know I'm gonna love the smell of all of these products. Oh, yes. I can already feel it, like that matte silicone feel. Like, you know those primers that claim to reduce the shine and oiliness? You know how they feel like a little dry, but this one is not like super dry, but it just feels very silicone type of feel. Next up, my loves, we have the foundation. I have all of the shades here, which I honestly don't even know what shade I am, but they do have uh, 12 shades, I believe. But yeah, I did check and it's 12 shades what they have. From the packaging, you already know what this foundation is going to do. It says oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, and photo-friendly. First, let me try to see which color I am because they have a lot of different ones. I might be a natural beige, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think this is matching me. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna be using this shade. This on their site, it says to apply with fingertips or a sponge. It doesn't say with a brush. So I'm actually gonna take my 3D HD blender from Sigma and just start applying it to my skin. Oh my God, even the foundation smells so good. Yeah, this color seems like it's a perfect fit for me. Okay, so far the foundation feels really nice. All right, now that I applied it with the sponge and here's the comparison of the before and now the after, I'm not really complaining about it being applied with the sponge because it did apply it really nicely. And I can tell this is just like sort of like a light medium foundation coverage because I can still see a little bit of my freckles. Every time I mention that, it's, it's not like I'm ashamed of my freckles and I wanna hide them, but it's just like a reference for me when I know when a foundation is full coverage. If I can see my freckles, that means it's full, it's not full coverage. If it's covering them, it's pretty much full coverage, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I just always use that as a reference and I can definitely see my freckles peeking through right here. So that's how I'm able to tell that this foundation is not full coverage. Also, the other thing is that this foundation feels very lightweight. I don't really feel like I have anything on my skin, um, but I just love the way that it smells. Like, it smells so, so good. So anyways, I'm gonna take the whatever I have left on this hand and apply it to this side of my face now. Okay, so now that we have this foundation, I'm just gonna quickly put on my concealer. They don't have a concealer 
for this collection, which I'm really surprised since they are coming out with pretty much everything. Anyways, I'm just gonna take my Tarte Shape Take Contour Concealer and just apply this and then we'll move on to what is the actual powder. So now we have two powders. We have one that's like a loose setting powder and then we have this one that is just a smoothing finishing powder. This one I'm gonna be using to really set my whole entire face and this one is called Peach Perfect. This is their mattifying loose setting powder. And the details of this baby is that on their side it says it gives a soft velvet matte finish, sets makeup without looking dry or powdery, has a peach tint, softly brightens the skin, and reduces the shine for a matte finish. To set, I'm gonna be using my Sigma F25 brush. Oh, oh god, it's got in my mouth and it tastes so good. Ah, dude, this honestly tastes really good. All right, so here is the before. You can still see a little bit of shine. And then here's the after, you see no shine whatsoever on this face. So, I really like this. And it doesn't feel dry at all, so I like that. Wow, it really didn't grab onto any dry patches that I have, which is really good considering that it's a mattifying powder because most of the time they always do that to me. Um, but this one didn't, so that's good. I really like that and I love the way it tastes. <laughs> I forgot to zoom you guys. I'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit in so you guys can sort of get the idea of what I'm talking about, how it looks. It looks pretty good, I'm not even kidding. Like I don't see any dry patches whatsoever and it feels really, really nice on the skin. So now that we're done with the powder, now we're gonna move on to the bronzers. We have two of them here. This one is called the Sweetie Pie, which is a radiant matte bronzer, which looks so beautiful. And this is how it looks, look at that. I love the little gold that it has in between. But anyways, we have also this one, which is called their Bronze Peach, which is a melting bronzer powder. And it's really interesting because obviously when you touch it, it's kind of like a cream. So this is how it looks. I feel like this one, you're supposed to apply it before, but since it does dry to a powder, I guess it's okay to apply it on top. I'm gonna test both of them, one on each side, just so we can see how they both work. But I'm really curious to see how this is gonna work out. I'm gonna first start out with this bronzer on this side of my face, and then I'm gonna apply this one on this side of my face. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really liking this that much, but I feel like it's applying a little bit patchy if you guys can see. Yeah, I don't think I would put this on top of my powder. I think I would just apply this underneath my powder and then set it. But anyways, we're gonna move on to this guy. Ooh. Okay, there we have this bronzer, and I really like this side. See, it looks a lot smoother than this side. It's not even drying down, like, I already look shiny. I'm mean, gonna, no, that's a no for me. <laughs> what I'm actually gonna do is take a little bit of this and apply it on this side because I am not really liking the situation right now. That is a no for me. Oh my god, that made it like worse. <gasps> Do you guys see this before? Like, what is going on, you guys? This made it worse. Like, now you can definitely see what, what I'm talking about, where it looks so patchy. Like, do you guys see this? This ain't cute. <laughs> but I think you are supposed to apply this underneath your foundation and powder. I'm, I'm just gonna try and assume that. Well, that was a fail, so I just went ahead and like took it off, took this side of my makeup off, and then reapplied it again, and now we're back to square one. Since I already have this side going on like this, I'm just gonna continue with this side, but I'm not really like loving these. I thought that since it says that, you know, it's a powder bronzer, like it's supposed to dry into a powder bronzer, that it would be okay applying it on top, but you guys know that that, that did not end up really okay. So I'm not really gonna, use these guys. I was really hoping to really love this, but now after seeing how it looks on top of the powder, 
no. <laughs> now to give you guys an idea of how these look swatched on the back of my hand, I'm actually gonna swatch them for you guys. So this is how the blush is supposed to look like and this is how the highlighter is supposed to look like. It's not really how I was expecting it to be because I thought it was gonna be a little bit more blinding but it looks more like a matte highlighter to be honest. I don't wanna leave my face without adding any blush or anything. I am going to be taking this one from Too Faced which is called their Papa Don't Peach. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this on the apples on my cheeks. So now that I have you even more zoomed in, here are the eyeshadow my loves and look at this. It's so beautiful. And you know what? I really love the idea of having the whole, all of the shades matte. This is so beautiful and I love the shades because right now since it is going towards fall the colors are perfect right now for fall so yeah I'm basically gonna do try to use as many colors as I can with my E40 I'm gonna take it peach tea all right so there's our first transition color and that applied really nicely on the crease so now we're gonna start building up the crease color and I'm gonna take peach cobbler with an E25 now for the outer part of my eye, now I'm going to take a peach tart with the same brush that we just applied, peach cobbler. Now with a clean E25, I'm just going to start blending out the edges. Now with the clean brush that we used to uh, blend out the dark brown eyeshadow, we're going to use that same brush and take peach sangria and apply this on the outer part of the eye. I really... I'm loving how these are blending in together. Now the next color we're gonna take is called Peach Pump and apply this right in front of Peach Sangria. Now I'm gonna take the color Peaches and Cream and apply this on the inner corner of my eye. And now to highlight under my brow bone, I'm gonna take this color right here at the, inner, at the top corner. Honestly, I really like this. I love the way that they just applied, blended the pigment on them. Like, I really like these eyeshadows. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly finish off the eyes. I'm just gonna apply the same way that I applied these eyeshadows underneath my lower lash line and then put mascara and my lashes and I'll be right back with you guys to finish off the lips and also the setting spray. Now we're gonna move on to the lipsticks, which I'm really excited. I only have three of them. Those are the only ones that I got sent, but I have what is Doll Face, Sunday Fun Day, and also Drunk Dial. So these are the three that I got. Drunk Dial is the one that's really, really purple and it's really beautiful. I love the packaging. It has little like peach, peach stamps all over the entire lipstick. But I don't know why I feel like you get less of the actual lipstick. It doesn't seem like it's a lot, you know? Here is Dollface. Dollface is like really pale nude while Sunday Fun Day is a little bit more of my actual nude lipstick tone, if you guys can see. Honestly, I, I don't think you're getting enough lipstick for what you're paying. In person, you, you don't really see much of this lipstick and once you pull it up, you're like, that's it? Like really, that's it? They come in 20 shades, which there's a lot to choose from. And also these claim to last up to eight hours on the lips. So we're gonna put that to the test obviously with the rest of the whole other items. But I really hope that this is still on my lips by the end of the day. I'm gonna swatch all three of them for you guys. But the one that I will be using on my face today is Sunday Fun Day, this nude one, just because the eyes are a little bit not so dramatic, but you know, we have a little bit of color here, so we wanna put something more neutral down here, but I'm gonna be using this one to test out, and I hope by the end of the video, I still have this lipstick on my lips, considering that I'm still gonna eat and all that, but hopefully it's still on my lips, you know? So there you have all three swatches, and this is how the colors look like. I'm just gonna basically apply this directly to my lips. I'm not gonna use a lip liner, just because I wanna see how it works on its own. Now that we have it on, you can definitely tell that this is really, really pigmented and it applied really well. The thing is that these actually feel heavy on the lips. Like, I could actually feel something on my lips. I don't mind if I feel it on my lips, but I do prefer something that I don't have to be feeling on top of my lips, if that makes sense. But now that we have it on and it looks beautiful, I'm actually gonna give a little bit of mention to these lips and then we'll be done with the setting spray. Last thing my loves is using their mattifying setting spray. This one is called Peach Mist. What this baby claims to do is not only will it set your whole entire makeup, but it's going to make it last up to 16 hours and also for eight or more hours, it's supposed to have shine control. I'm just gonna basically shake this up and then just 
spray a little bit on my face. Let me just... Whoa. This ain't playing. Like, this sprays a lot into your face. It's not like your MAC Fix Plus. Like, this one just... <laughs> that's how it felt right now. All right, so while I was letting the setting spray just set, I pretty much took off my ears, redid my whole ponytail, and then this is what I noticed. Do you guys see this right here? Like, uh, what is this? I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can take a closer look at what this is. Like, I, I don't understand this. All right, do you guys see this? Like, this is from the setting spray. It's even underneath my brow, if you guys can see. Like, I, I don't know. <sighs> this is so weird. I think you really are supposed to shake this really good and maybe give it a few sprays away from your face first just to get whatever is inside the bottle, like already in the tube thing, like out of it and then set your face with this because this is the, f the side that I first applied it to and then I moved to this side. If you're gonna set your makeup, it's supposed to like be the grand finale, like to overall bring it all together, not mess it up, you know? What I'm gonna do is take my brush and sort of sweep through very lightly to see if this goes away, but hopefully it does. Oh, it is. Oh, oh yes, this is going away. Okay, there we go. Yay, we saved it. All right, so now that we were able to actually save this makeup, now I'm really happy and I hope that this lasts throughout the whole entire day. So right now, my loves, it is exactly 1.34. So I will be checking back in eight hours to let you guys know how the makeup looks, how it lasted and everything. So I'll see you guys back in eight hours. <laughs> All right, my love, so now I am back and it's been about eight hours already in just a few more minutes. It's 9.26, it'll be exactly the eight hours and this is how the makeup looks after eight hours. I have to say I'm really, really impressed with how long these products have lasted except for one product only and that is the lipstick. This lipstick did not last eight hours at all. I would say it lasted about four hours but other than that, everything else lasted just exactly the same way that I had left it. I don't notice at all, which is so crazy, ain't any like oiliness on my face. Like it's, it's actually really crazy, honestly. And I'm really impressed with this. And then the eyeshadows, they pretty much held up nicely. Um, they didn't move or anything. And yeah, I am really surprised about the makeup, how long it lasted. So I think it does last. I don't see anything wrong with it. Overall, I do love the collection, you guys. A lot of these products are really, really good and amazing. The only products that I feel like I would just skip out on that didn't really work out for me are the lipsticks and then the cream to powder uh, products. I just, no, you guys saw, I, I didn't like them at all. Um, I am going to try them out tomorrow underneath my makeup to see how that works out. But the lipsticks in general, I mean, I think I would just skip out on these because they're just like any other lipsticks and you're not getting a lot of the product. But other than that, everything else, I think it's a go. Um, if you do have dry skin, I wouldn't really recommend this collection to you because it could be a little drying. If you do add a hydrating primer or some oil into the foundation, I feel like it would just look perfect on your skin. I think that is it, my loves. Um, I don't think I have any other comments to say about this collection. So we're gonna end the video right here. So I really hope that you guys love this first impression. As always, if you guys would like to see any other first impressions or reviews, let me know in the comment section what other collections or products you guys would like me to incorporate into my first impressions. But with that, don't forget to give me your guys' thumbs up and also be part of the family by subscribing if you haven't already and hit that ring bell notification. That way when I upload, YouTube notifies you guys when I upload. Again, I'm gonna have links to every single product down below in the description below along with my social media that you guys can go check it out. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. <laughs> this honestly tastes like candy. Ooh. Look, babe, try it. Just try it. Mm. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right? Ah. <laughs> this tastes really good. It's on the... Today, um, blah, 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 blah. Ah, you can't make any sense. Why can't I?
talk. <laughs>